Okay, so you've managed to get your first Excel project. That is a great job, well done, but we're only just getting started. And you've got to think about how to properly manage your Excel, Excel VBA development project. I'm going to give you five tips right now that I've learned over the years. The first tip is your first commitment is crucial. At that first meeting, I want you to make a small but critically important commitment. You could say something to the customer like, okay, I'm gonna send you a little specification of what we've discussed and the costings. It might be as simple as that, but you have to keep that first commitment. Business is based on trust. Trust is based on keeping commitments. So make a small commitment and then make sure you keep it. If you say you're gonna send it to them the next morning, send it to them the next morning. That's gonna be a good starting point. I've put together a support file to help you think about how these things might affect you and your career. Link in the description below this video. Go ahead, download the file, complete it. It's going to get you thinking about how you might make money out of Excel. Now, number two, which may come out of left field for you, is to use video on your projects. But hopefully, this shouldn't be a big deal for you now because you're using video to market yourself as an Excel, Excel VBA developer. I've just found over the years, people absolutely love video walkthroughs, video walkthroughs. So if you can do a video, even just a screen recording of you talking through the Excel development, that's going to help the customer get value out of your Excel development. Let's move on to tip three. You've got to seek out criticism. Yes, you're going to get criticism. You've got to work out how to deal with it. But in truth, criticism is so important. It's like gold dust to us in consultancy as Excel VBA developers. What does the client actually think? How can you actually get the client to be happy with your work and to get value out of it? You can only do that by getting criticism. How are you gonna do that? Are you gonna do your work through video, send the file and then have a phone call? Are you just gonna do it via email? However you do it, don't just consume it, actually seek it out. I say at the bottom of my emails, I'm looking forward to your criticism. It is gold dust for us as Excel VBA developers. If you're watching this video on the day it's released, we are doing a live stream tomorrow. So why not take a little video on your smartphone telling me your impressions of the video, how you're gonna start making money out of Excel. Take the video, share it with me at this email address. I might just use your video in tomorrow's live stream. Let's move on to tip four. You've gotta be flexible on these projects. I've done, must have done hundreds of Excel, Excel VBA development projects. I've never done a project where, you know, we had a very clear specification at the beginning and it was simple and we just delivered to that specification. In reality, as people see what's possible in Excel, they see the early iterations of what you do. To some extent, those requirements are gonna change. And I'm saying that's a good thing. A lot of the time that can be a good thing as long as you can manage it because it's going to allow the customer to get more value out of what you're doing. So you've got to be careful to manage this properly, but be prepared to pivot, be flexible in the long term. That's going to help your relationship with the customer. I hope you're enjoying this video series. Here's the five things you can get out of our Members Monday membership. Click join below this video for more. And then number five, in the long term, how is it actually going to work with the customer? Is there any ongoing maintenance of the file? And if so, how are you going to charge for that? How is that going to be costed? Now, my approach is very simple. I build all my files to work and to work forever, hopefully. So I don't do any ongoing maintenance. I say, if it goes wrong, I'll fix it within reason. But does that suit you? You've got to work out once you hand the file over, how is the long-term relationship going to work? So Excel VBA, VBA development is the best thing. And one of the things is we do so many different things. It's creative, it's technical. You're also got to be a project manager. So there's five tips for managing your Excel, Excel VBA development projects more effectively.